Um, I would now like to uh, invite the WHO uh, Regional Director, Ms. Susanna Jakob, to give a few words, who has given her full support and immunization in the region. Your Royal Highness, Princess Matilde, Your Excellency, Lauret Unkelix, Deputy Prime Minister and also Minister of Health of Belgium, uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to everybody. I am delighted to be here today with this distinguished group to launch the sixth annual European Immunization Week. I want to thank to Her Royal Highness and to Her Excellency, the Minister of Health of Belgium, for graciously opening this event this morning. Thank you to both of you. We are very pleased that we can launch this regional launch of the European Immunization Week this year in Belgium because Belgium has taken part in the immunization weeks since its inception in 2005 as one of the only handful pioneering countries that started this process and Belgium has been extremely enthusiastic ever since. This year we are very proud to announce that 50 member states from the European region participate in this event and therefore we can say that the European Immunization Week has become one of the most visible public health events in Europe these days. This is of course due to the high level commitment of our member states as well as the support of our regional partners and I'm very pleased to see that many of our partners are here today with us. This year, the European Immunization Week promotes the message shared solutions to common threats. This is a theme that evolved from the facts and the threats that materialized in our region in 2010. Though the countries of our region are certainly diverse, the common threats of vaccine preventable diseases affect every single country of the diverse European region with its 53 member states. In 2010, we witnessed explosive outbreaks of measles continuing mainly in the western part of the region. And we also witnessed, unfortunately, the re-emergence of poliomyelitis at a time when we would have celebrated the 10 years of polio-free status of the European region in 2012. The polio outbreak in the Central Asian republics marked the first time the region had seen a case of polio in more than a decade. In 2011, countries continued to battle measles outbreaks with more than 24 countries reporting upwards of 4,000 cases in the first quarter of this year. It is clear that we still have much work to do on the immunization. It disheartens me to see our strong region facing this slippery slope of losing the significant gains, knowing what the consequences will be, increased illness, lifelong disability, and death. However, on the positive side, we have witnessed member states mount effective responses to many of these outbreaks due to applying lessons learned, conducting joint planning, and ensuring strong collaboration between all the countries of the region. In my first year as the WHO Regional Director, I have visited many member states, and I have had the chance to listen and learn about their experiences. It is evident that with shared borders, and considerable population movements in the region, countries do face common health threats. Therefore, strong partnerships among the countries are needed to prevent and control vaccine preventable diseases in our region. I strongly believe that only through shared experiences, developing joint plans and implementing preventive measures, we will ensure the region reaches the 2012 Global Polio Eradication Goal. And also the 2015 Regional Goal 
for measles and rubella elimination, while at the same time contributing to the 2015 Millennium Development Goal to end poverty. I commend all of you being here today. Your presence shows your commitment to these goals, and I look forward to discussing the ways we can work together during this round table. The WHO European Regional Office, in partnership with all the member states and our partners here with us today, shares the responsibility to strengthen advocacy, increase political commitment, and ensure enough resources are made available to achieve our collective immunization goals. We all share the social responsibility as parents, healthcare providers, and decision makers to boost vaccination levels and to advocate for immunization. By doing so, we can ensure our children remain healthy and safe from vaccine preventable diseases. At this critical moment, let us make sure our region remains a global leader in immunization through strengthened and accelerated shared responses. Today, we celebrate our collective achievements in immunization, and I urge each one of us to focus his or her dedication and commitment on meeting these goals. I want to assure everyone that we have effective tools and we will continue to engage political leaders, public health experts, academia and institutes and the public to reach these goals. This is a marathon with the finish line now in sight. We need to urgently press on to meet the milestones we have set and to win. It can be done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Jakob. I would now like to welcome the Regional Director from UNICEF from Central and Eastern Europe and Commonwealth of Independent States, Mr. Stephen Allen. Please welcome. Your Royal Highness, Madam Deputy Prime Minister, Madam Regional Director, WHO, uh, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I would like to say <clears throat> that UNICEF wholly and wholeheartedly supports the European Immunization Week as an annual opportunity to emphasize the importance of this life-saving technology. It is also a reminder of our partnership to ensure that children everywhere do not uh, die of a vaccine-preventable disease. This year's theme, Shared Solutions to Common Threats, is both pertinent and timely in the region. Routine immunization services are no longer performing adequately, which in turn has led to the re-emergence of vaccine-preventable diseases like polio and measles. The large polio outbreak in Central Asia last year underlines the consequences of a failure of routine immunization. While there are numerous causes for immunization coverage to be falling below target, I would like to identify one. Public trust in immunization is decreasing, and that is a key concern. As well, in an, area of, in an era of increasing global migration and mobility, there is more than enough evidence that infectious diseases do not recognize borders. The Central Asian polio epidemic and the virus um, that caused it came on this occasion from India, for example. Outbreaks occurring in one place have the potential to rapidly spread to others, revealing both the mutual interdependence and the vulnerability of all countries, developing and industrialized alike. This makes it even more critical that routine immunization is maintained and that we share solutions to common threats. 
the theme of this year's Immunisation Week. We need to be transparent and we need to share information no matter how difficult or embarrassing the issue is. We also need to act together to address common public health challenges. An excellent example of that was provided by the Central Asian countries and the Russian Federation last year to stop the outbreak of polio and to maintain the polio free re status of this region. A similar collaboration is now needed to address the measles outbreak, mainly in the western part of the region. UNICEF supports knowledge generation and sharing best practices and lessons learned among countries as part of our effort to strengthen health systems to deliver equitable, accessible, sustainable and high quality immunization services. We are also leading an initiative to strengthen health communication capacities of countries to promote immunization, to rebuild public trust and effectively manage crises. As in the past, the UNICEF regional offices and the country offices extend their full support to the European Immunization Week 2011 to raise awareness on immunization as well as to foster shared debate and action. Thank you again for the opportunity to take part in this event and please be assured of UNICEF's continuing support and collaboration as a key stakeholder in immunization in the region. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Allen.